Kelly from The Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for May 2024. So on May 23rd, we are going to have our second slash third event take place. And what I mean by that is, first of all, I'm going to encourage you to take a listen to the full moon and Sagittarius astro forecast. Why? Well, because that event happens first, but technically speaking, it happens second. I know I sound confusing here, but let me give you the lay of the land. On May 23rd, we have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. In Taurus energy, her rulership coming up to, bumping into, teaming up with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, also at the final degrees of Taurus energy. So a conjunction is a reset. It is an ending just as much as it is a beginning. And because Jupiter and Venus are these magical little beings coming together, they're recharging, restoring, renewing, resetting our ability to have some luck being in the right place with the right time, with the right people. We are looking to grow and expand on our luck in love and in money, which I think we could all use a little bit of that. Now, here's the thing. This kind of renews our hopes, our wishes, our dreams. So manifesting energy, again, usually under a full moon, we're talking about releasing, we're talking about purging the emotions that are blocking us from being able to manifest. Again, another reason why I want you to listen to the full moon and Sag Astro forecast, because this is the most magical full moon that we could possibly have. And a lot of it is definitely being influenced by this particular conjunction. So Venus and Jupiter come together. They conjunct at 29 degrees in Taurus energy, which is a fixed earth sign, which means that we have a huge capability of growing and expanding our luck, our love, our money, and manifest new situations to have all of those things come full circle in a very quick, very stabilized, very anchored type of way. Now, shortly thereafter, we have the full moon in Sagittarius pop off. And then after that, we have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money moving on into Gemini energy. And that is what this forecast is all about. So if you need to take a listen to your May Zodiac forecast to understand where this is impacting and influencing your life, first and foremost, according to your sun or your rising sign, I'm going to recommend you do that. If you have not downloaded your Gemini season e-guide, I'm going to recommend that you do that too, that you flip to this particular page in the workbook and we do a deep dive in your chart to understand where Venus is going to be making some major changes, not only to your heart space, not only to your day to day life, not only to your happiness and your joy and your safety and your security and your stability, but especially where relationships and money are concerned. So it's better to stay ahead of the energies and stay in alignment than kind of be dragged along with it. So yes, Venus is moving into Gemini energy. The heart space is moving into the head space. And you best believe being in a mutable sign, which means change, which means being fluid in order to change, we are definitely going to see a major change, a major transformation take place first and foremost in our heart space. That's what Venus is all about. Would I say she's a little bit bored? Yeah, I would. I think Taurus season kind of, you know, yeah, helped us all stabilize, but it also put a pause on a lot of things. And we grew very weary of being in the same situation for any amounts of time. We grew bored. We grew very discontent with our lives, with ourselves, with our relationship dynamics, with what it is that's going on. Now in Gemini energy, curiosity peaks. It puts us in a situation where we're willing to go out in the world, where we're willing to put ourselves out there in a way that we would have been hesitant to do. Now, we are looking for change. We're looking for variety. We're looking to spice things up a tad. And this is why it could get very, very damaging and kind of destructive to some relationship dynamics that aren't built on a karmic, stable foundation. Why is that, you may ask? Well, because we're bored. We want to see if the grass is actually greener on the other side. And that in itself can have a lot of people abandoning their partnerships. Now, I'm not saying that everybody's going to be breaking up here, but if there was a time to be breaking up Gemini season, Venus being in Gemini energy, this is it. Especially under a full moon in Sag, 
100%. If you are not in a karmically suited commitment or relationship, you will watch this fall apart. Now, here's the thing. We're more social. We want to be a little bit more expressive with our thoughts, with our feelings, with our emotions. We want to kind of declare what is or is not working for us. We are super chatty Cathy's. We are hella charming because we can really charm our way into any conversation or any path, any direction that is going to kind of be of service to us. And we're just looking to be interested in life again. So we got to go out in the world and see what kind of captures our interest, if you will. We want to dabble in new topics and themes. Of course, the Gemini energy has us wanting to learn new things as well. And so there's a playful energy taking over as Gemini season usually lends us at this time. And we tend to, not saying totally, but we tend to turn the volume down on our emotions and turn the volume up on our intellect, meaning we're not as attached to our emotions. We're not as triggered and activated emotionally as we are mentally. We're looking for mental stimulation. We're looking for interest. We're looking for fun. We're looking to kind of, you know, connect with people outside of our comfort zones. We're looking for a mental connection. And again, we could be a lot more attracted to people that are mentally stimulating to us than those that have been around for the long term. Again, another reason why if you're not in a stabilized karmic relationship, you may just watch your partnership dissolve under these influences. Either way, there is this adventure, this quest that we're now about to go on and the fact that it is happening under the full moon in Sag, which is all about a new quest, a new adventure, a new path, a new pivot forward. This is going to double down on those particular energies. Um, with Venus and Gemini, again, we're very chatty Cathy's. We're very flirtatious. We just want to have fun. We're kind of more outgoing than normal. Uh, we are kind of tapping into the what I would like to call childlike curiosity, which means that we have a million questions and we want those answers and we jump from one thing to the next and we want to keep things light and fluffy because again, we don't really want to do a deep dive into our emotions. We want to put them on the back burner for the moment. We want to just have a little bit of fun, but this is all about mental engagement. And when it comes to our heart space, when it comes to what makes us happy, when it comes to what brings us a sense of joy and pleasure, what brings us a sense of safety and security, we're definitely going to be challenging that particular standard. Again, we kind of stabilized in the Taurus energy and now we're just like, eh, maybe I could do something different. Maybe something could be more fun. Maybe I could do something to bring in more money. Maybe I could do something different in order to bring new levels of intimacy into the equation. Either way, we're questioning things. That's what we do in Gemini energy. We have to use discernment. We're questioning everything to see, again, if the grass is actually greener on the other side. And so, you know, with all of these other energies supporting Venus, kind of, you know, giving up her rulership over Taurus season and then now giving up her rulership in Taurus energy for Gemini energy, there's a lot of change on the horizon. And we are really connected and listening to our heart space and our head space because, of course, Venus being in Gemini energy, we're attempting to get our heart and our head in alignment through Gemini season so that we can lock in our choice point, our decision point, the path, the direction that we want to take at the end of Gemini season under that solstice energy, really locking in the next karmic chapters, the next karmic season. So there's going to be a rapid processing going on between our heart and our head as we go out into the world, explore, if you will, on what could people our interest, what could actually solve our boredom, and what could make us just a teensy bit happier.